Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today's focus is upper body. Equipment needed for this workout is gonna be a variety of weights, tubing, and your mat. The emphasis is gonna be on the arms, but also a little bit more on the backside because we did the chest the day before. We're gonna be doing three rounds of each movement and 15 repetitions. Stay till the end because we've got an upper body finisher to blast out those arms. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Hey, if you want more content, you just can't get enough of us, make sure you click that join button below. Are you ready? Roll the shoulders back. Let's warm up the upper body. Big circles back. If you would keep me waiting, I would wait a lifetime. One more, and then round in front, and then open the chest up. So tuck and open. One more. Open up those legs. We're going to take that right hand, reach over to the left foot, and switch. Now we're going to be focusing a little bit more on the back side of the upper body. So we're going to be going for that moderate to heavy load again. Two more. And then hold it here. Come to the back of your mat. You're going to round down. Walk yourself out to plank. Hold. Hips go up. Keep the hips there. Now open the feet up wider. Turn your hands in a little bit. A little down dog push up. Dropping the crown of the head to the floor. And push away. So use more of the lats here. Lift onto your toes. Lift your heels up. Two more. All right, come into an up dog. So walk the hands out, drop the hips. Ah, and then down dog. One more time, up dog. And down dog. Walk it back. Roll it up. Tricep stretch. Just a one, two, and then switch. One more each arm. Arms and T, thumbs back. And then thumbs down. Open up again. And relax. All right, roll the shoulders back. If you want to march or jog just to kind of get blood going through the whole rest of your body. I got you. I got you too. Open up the feet, twist that waist. Big arms, longer. Lift up, pull in. All right, big inhale. We're getting right in here. Oh, first movement is bent over wide row. So you're going to have your hands facing to the back. Moderate load, bent over row. Get yourself set up. I'm going to be using 15 pounds. That's my weight that I'm going to go. Because it's far away from the body, you got to know your back. 12, 15 reps is our range here. Three sets. We're going to go from that. We're going to be using a stability ball or your bench for pull over with one moderate to heavy weight. Grab the weights. Roll your shoulders back. Open up your feet. Drop your chest almost parallel to the floor. It's wide. Start your pull now. Pull up. Push it down. Elbows go up and back. And when we keep it wide, it's gonna make it more challenging for us. So especially if you have light weights at home, keep it wide. I got you for one more. 
All right, those weights are gonna go to that front of my mat. I'm pulling out my ball, grabbing my 20 pound dumbbell for pull over. It could be one or two. This is a great one to do on a bench. You could also do it on the floor. My weight starts over the chest or over that chin area. Elbows a little bit soft, hips are up. I'm gonna lower the weight down and then pull it back up. Let's start now. Inhale down, exhale up. Now in the pull over, if you don't feel it as much, don't come up so high. Stay in the work zone, so just above the eyes. And you go as low as you feel that you can. This is great, it gets into that armpit area. Those lats, they're hard to hit at home. There's 14 and 15, you are up. All right, so just a quick breather here. Put that weight where you want it. Make sure your ball's in a safe place. Take a deep breath, we're gonna go into those bent over wide rows. Again, we're staying wide, really gets that lat. You're good to go, you got your weights. Grab them in your hands. Drop your chest down, parallel. Hands are wide, start that row. My hands kinda end up to the outside of my chest. Look out in front, back is flat. So stick your booty out a little bit. One more time. Great job. All right, pull over. Now, just to be clear, I could definitely do heavier if I was doing a single arm row, but because we're doing it wide and just both of them, you need to drop that weight. Pull over. Walk the feet out, hips are lifted. Weight is over the chin, kind of chest area. Making a little diamond with my hands from the top. I'm gonna drop it back now and pull it up. Inhale, lower, exhale, up. So you too, you wanna really be mindful in the movement. I definitely have most of my upper back and my head on the ball. That's gonna help me relax my neck. Focus on the movement of that pullover. It's a good one to shut your eyes. There's 15 all the way up. Nice job. All right, we're gonna go into that third set here. Everybody's doing good? You got your weights that you need though, like it challenges you. I'm starting to feel that, how about you? Feel those lats? Okay, you ready? We are ready to roll. Palms face back, open the feet up, drop your chest. Ready and start that row. Looking directly down and out in front. I'm really dropping my chest. So this is almost parallel to that ground. Oh yeah, Ooh, that was tough yet. That was good weight. Pull over. Just for safety factor too, remember your ball can only handle 300 pounds, so know what kind of weight you're putting on it. You're, we're okay, okay. <laughs> it's good to know, because you don't want it to pop and you get hurt. So let's start with the weight up at the top here. Hips are up, and drop it back. Inhale the lower, exhale, you're bringing it up. And when I lower it down, right, I'm inhaling, bracing the core, keeping the head pressing into the ball. And I like to close my eyes on this one. Push your 
was up. Up you go, there we go, nice job. All right, breather here. Bent over, fly. Woo, you don't need a ball for this one. Get a sip of water if you need it. Bent over, fly. You're gonna drop the chest again, double fly. Or you could do single fly, whatever feels good to you. Then we're gonna go into an overhead press, which is a shoulder press. And we're gonna stand for that one. If you wanna sit, you definitely can. We get some water and we're gonna come right back. All right, here we go. We're gonna get right into this. We have that rear delt fly. We're gonna say goodbye to Carol. I was gonna say bye to Carol, but I'm gonna say bye to Catherine. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. So we're gonna drop into that fly, drop your chest. This one here, I'm gonna be about a 45 degree angle. So from the bottom, we're gonna open up. I'm gonna just show you the first one and then go for it. Pinching between the shoulder blades here. using eight, I think maybe I could go for 10. Do you have tens? What are you using? Do you have fives? And again, we're pinching between the shoulder blades. 13. There we go, nice job. All right, we're gonna go into overhead press, standing. I'm gonna go for my 15s. Weight is at shoulder height. See you later. All right, from the bottom, let's press it up. Press through the heel of the hand. Ooh. So now I can move all the way over here. We got lots of space here. Take your time here. Great job. All right, super. Take a breather. Can I use your tens? Do you want to use my eights? All right, so I'm going to do ten for that bent over fly. Oh, I could use Catherine's too. All right, relax for a moment. Drop that chest slightly and then start your fly. And pinching between the shoulder blades, look out in front. Turn to the side, pulling the belly up and in. Oh, this feels so good for your body, right? Good for your posture. One more time. Perfect. Okay. Press. Ooh. Grab that weight. This is how we do, right? Um, I'm gonna do 20. Cause you know what, this is how we do it. In the garage. <laughs> okay, from the bottom, start your press. I could fail before we get to 15. It's all about trying, doing your best. right you take the next day you do something that's not gonna work the upper body Ooh. or very minimal Ooh, come on one more who is right nice job all right we go into that round three shake it out Ooh, how are your shoulders feeling oh my gosh right Feeling pretty uh, strong here. How about you? All right, we're into the few days of these weights. All right, bend over, fly. Softness in the knees, drop the chest, a little elbow soft here, start your fly. You can even do a little thumb out. This is how 
now we do. Come on, give me one more. Nice job. Oh, I need a moment here. So we got those shoulder presses. Ooh. What are you gonna go for? 15s? I may, I may always push you a little bit, but you know, you have to know where you are. Like, okay, maybe not, but 12 and a half, right? 12 and a half. All right, here we go. Grab that weight. I'm gonna stay with my 20s. From the bottom, let's press it up now. I'm gonna really make sure I push through the heels of my hands. If you don't have the heavier weights at home, keep it wider and know your shoulders. Got you at 11. Oh, 14, come on. Oh, there we go, nice job. All right, you did your best, nice job. That was awesome. Way to push yourself. Okay. We're gonna go into those arms. So we're gonna hit the arms one more time. We're gonna go into kickbacks and hammer curls. We're just gonna go right into this, okay? So if you need a quick sip of water, you're gonna grab it now. I'm gonna grab real quick. And we're gonna get into kickbacks. I'm gonna use eights, just because I wanna really have the range of motion. I don't need to go crazy heavy. Then hammer curls. Hammers, you can probably go pretty heavy, okay? Ready? I'm gonna go eight for kickbacks. Um, no, I'm gonna go tens, I guess. I'm on the fence. You ever do that? You grab it, you're like, oh, maybe, maybe not. All right, so let's try Try what you can. All right, you're gonna bend your elbows, drop your chest again flat from that bent arm position. Straighten the arm out and bend. Start now. And again, I'm trying to get my back flat, so I don't really need to be here. I actually can work harder when I drop my back flat. Stopping at the knees, pressing it up straight. Three, two, one. What'd you do? Eight, that was easy. That was good, all right. Right into those hammer curls. I'm gonna go for, oh, I'm like on the fence again. I'm gonna go 15. Okay. Hammer curls, let's do both of them at the same time, get them done with. Fist to shoulder. I want a little slower on the down. So quick and release. Work the eccentric. All right, we learned that in the leg workout the day before. Really have to control the down movement. I think I got you for one more of these, okay? Relax. Okay, kickbacks, again. Stop here. So we want to not do the swinging. I want you to control it. Bend elbows, flat back. From there, you're pressing back now. Really try to get it straight. Really push your booty out. Chin off the chest. Three, two, done. All right, pick up those other weights right away. Let's go right into hammer curls. You got the right ones? Okay, all right, here we go. Fist to shoulder, release it down. Remember, I'm gonna be up quick, slow down. Tempo change can make an exercise feel different. Right? There's ways that you can change the feeling of a movement by changing pace, changing the weight and changing the range. 12. Nice job. Woo. Breather. 
Yeah, 15 was good for me. How was that for you? Okay. I'm gonna stretch for a moment, just a quick stretch, and then get into that last set. Oh yeah. Get a little dance stretch. Grab your weight, kickbacks. Party over. Lock it in, drop your chest. Elbows jack them up, kick back. Hey, you better start, right? Watch your range, don't get crazy with this. One more. Nice job. All right, right into that hammer curl. Long and strong spine here. Pull it up, bring it down. Remember, pause, then release. And do make sure in this series you're doing those lower body workouts because I was mentioning in it that you can get a lot of great gains there. Not just in the legs, but it helps with fat loss all over the whole body. And you work a lot harder in the lower body. You burn more calories because you got bigger muscles that you're working. One more. Nice work here. Okay. Relax. Here's what we're gonna do, our finisher. We're gonna start with a band pull apart, pull apart. So we're gonna be using our tubing. All right, I'm gonna put my hands on my handles, kind of grab here, and I'm pulling it apart. I'm gonna start kind of up by my face and then drop it to my chest. So you kind of gotta find what works for you, whatever you got for tubing, or maybe you've got a little Dynaband or a little, uh, your glute loop, you could use that. Or you could drop your chest and do, again, reverse flies with three pound weights. That's what I would use. Whew. And then some tubing curls, overhead extension, all right, we're gonna do one weight, and then we've got supers. Actually, let's do skull crushers, and then supers so that we're on the ground. Does that sound good? Grab what you need and come back. You got what you need for those pull-aparts. 30 seconds of effort, 10 second transition. This is gonna last us about nine minutes. You want it tight, right in front of the face. From there, open it up. So when I pull it back, head and then chest, I'll turn to the back. So it starts up, pull apart. And you feel like a pause. Kind of like on the beat. Up and pull. After this is 10 seconds, we go to a tubing curl. Or if you don't have tubing, just a bicep curl. So one foot underneath, because we have some really tight tubes here. <laughs> Palms are up, wrist is straight. We're doing a curl. You go at your pace here. You want this to feel like it's hard. So if you are using dumbbells, maybe you're doing fast curls, or you can do alternating hammer curls. Remember, Skull Crushers is on the ground. You're gonna look at the ceiling. I'm gonna use 12 pounds in each hand. All right, on your back. Look at the ceiling, Skull Crushers. Weight is up. I bend the elbows and then press them back up. Drop and extend. Weight ends up by the temple of the head and then all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale down, exhale up. Once we're done, we flip on our stomach. I'm gonna put the weight to the back of me. We're gonna face Catherine. Wait, Catherine's not here. <laughs> well, we're gonna face her anyways. All right, face go back. Flip it for some supers. Make sure you have room here. We're gonna lift up and release. So lift and release. And that's 
super. Pause for a moment. You relax down. You lift your legs and squeeze your glutes all backside here. All right, press yourself up. Ooh, right back into that band, pull apart. So grab your band, your tubing, get it ready. Set, and we go. Ooh, were you ready? Next round, you're gonna nail it, right? Really pull it apart. Pinch between the shoulder blades, even exaggerate sticking out your chest. Keep it right up here. There, right up there. Or in the out. Curls. Make sure they're even. Shoulders back. Start the curl. Again, you can choose your tempo if you want to go faster. You can go faster. I'm going to go for it. Keep the wrist straight, so I'm going to pull it up. Wrist stay straight. Come on, Carol. Oh, you can even hear. Oh, that was all I could do. Huh. All right, on your back. I should put my tube in the front so I can grab it faster. On your back, skull crushers. Ready. Arms are up. Bend your elbows. Cast it up. Yeah, get those arms to about 90. And then press it to the ceiling. Inhale, drop, exhale up. A little shake now. Remember, supers are coming up here. We're going to go for a swim this time. Great job. Always go away on your stomach. So we're going to swim. We're going to keep continuous movement here. Everything is up. Swimming arms and legs. Grab your band, let's go. Round three. See how much faster you were? All right, this in front, pull apart. Ooh, okay, you feeling that backside? Wrist is straight. Again, inexpensive tools to have at home. Tubing, bands. Balls could do a lot of great stuff with those tools. Ooh, ooh, that's it. Bicep curls. You feeling the fatigue? You feeling the failure? I am. All right, I hope you are too at home. Ready? Core tight. Start your curls. Shoulder. Oh, I feel my core too. How about you? Skull pressures is happening next. Nice job. On your back. Weight is up. Bend your elbows. Nice work here. And again, you go at your pace. Dropping to that 90, pressing it all the way up. Gauge the back of that arm. 
All right, this next time when we go into supers, we're gonna okay. super in the pull, elbows to back pockets. All right, on your stomach. Woo. So you're gonna lift everything up, and then pull elbows to back pocket. Lift, pull, reach, release. Push back in child pose. Take a deep breath here. Oh, walk the hands to the back side of your mat. Little child pose with an angle. Ooh. Walk it to that front. You did amazing. Break into the spine. What it just did for you. From that position. Elbows to the ground, hands for prayer. And then drop the head between the arms and sit back. Oh, really get those triceps a little bit of a love here, a little attention. And then on to the hands and knees. Turn your hands so the fingers face out and just do a little side to side, stretch out your wrist. You can move side to side in your body here. Ooh. And then we're gonna put fingers out in front. Let's do a down dog. Press those hips up. Drop those heels to the back. And then drop the heels to the front. And then back to center. Widen the feet, so walk them a little bit forward and then just wide straddle. I'm gonna grab to the front leg. Bend the back knee. This is gonna get a stretch in your lats and then switch that. Grab to the back leg, bend the front knee, and do that one more time. Grab to the front, grab to the back, wide straddle, heel toe in, roll up. Oh, I need a little back extension. Reach it up, reach it back. Push the hips forward, and tricep stretch on the right. As you're stretching here, bring your feet in a little bit here. Side bend. And then switch that. Maybe look up. Reach out in T, open your legs up, thumbs back. Stretch out the biceps. And then thumbs go down. Really twist it. One more time. And then thumbs down. Relax. Okay, big inhale here. Inhale, reach it out, reach it up. Pull it into your heart. Take a big inhale here through the nose, out through the mouth. You did amazing. Oh my God, my arms, <laughs> my arms, right? You did amazing. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, you. I was gonna go th say thank you to some other people, but it's just us here. That's all it takes. If you enjoyed this workout, thumb it up, comment below, share it with a friend. Work out with a friend. That's even better yet because that can be very motivating and it can just help you to push that little extra. See, I helped, Ka I helped, I was gonna call you Catherine. I helped Carol, right? And she helped me too, just by saying, hey, I think I, you know, I can go heavier. There you go, great. And you can high five. It's so great to have that sense of community. You guys are part of my community. And again, make sure, check out the membership if you want more content click that join button below. If you don't see it on your phone, hey, go to your PC. It's right there. And we will see you. Yeah, we'll see you at the next workout, you guys. Take care. Ooh, another high 10 to you. Great job. My arms are feeling it. Oh, yes. Ooh, those triceps, right? Thank you.